Okay. Um, as far as I recall, I signed checks on the special security account. Now, for all the other accounts, there were no checks, but then you'll write request for payments to either the central bank or the other commercial banks. Um, a few minutes, as I was assigned one of the signatories, if I minute anything to His Excellency regarding a payment and he approves it, then he'll ask you to pay for it from an account. Otherwise, if someone else minutes it and he asks for the payment and I'm one of the signatories and available, I'll sign the request for payment based on directives from his, the former president. So you are saying you did not, you are, you are saying that you don't decide where payment is to be made. Is that what you're saying? You would mean it? In certain instances, you decide where payments should be made because you need to find out which of the ac accounts has enough funds to, to effect the payment. I see. Okay. All right. Um, we'll have to take an adjournment um, for you to come back. Um, meanwhile, if you do want to, we will take you through the transactions that you have sign to save time. Okay. We'll give you a time when you come to the Secretariat and if you have any anything to say about them or any supporting document on the based on which you made them, um, you can point them out in the, in the files at the Office of the President okay. and we'll put them together. Thank you very much. Thank you. Ask. Um, I think the 29th, Tuesday the 29th, one day, what time? Tuesday, Thursday, okay, this Thursday. All right, we suggest Thursday the 24th. Okay, at, at 11 a.m. Sorry? Um, we are adjourning this matter to Thursday, this week, Thursday, at 11 a.m. But meanwhile, if you could kindly report to the Secretariat um, tomorrow morning at around 11. Okay. Yes. Thank you. All right. Thank you. I call Abdullahi M. Salah. Come here, Jikira. Look at Jikira, Jikira. Ms. Laisala. Sit down, 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 Wow, and a list of signatures, a list of exhibits, signatures. My name is not good enough there. We need to be on, on top of the signature. No, no. Exhibit I and mean, signatures. I swear by the Almighty Allah. I swear by, by the Almighty Allah. 
that the evidence I shall give to this commission that the evidence I shall give to this commission shall be the truth shall be the truth the whole truth the whole truth and nothing but the truth and nothing but the whole truth so help me Allah so help me God you can wait okay can you give your full names you are in difficulties I've told you can you give your full name please can you give your full name I am Mr. Abdul M. Salah where do you live? What? Where do you live? As kind of thing is laid out. Where? Where? Can you think it's laid out? Can you think, can you think it's laid out? out? Okay. What work do you do? What work do you do? I'm a, is a public officer. Retired public officer. Would you like to sit down, Mr. Sala? Would you like to sit down? Yes, I would mind. Please sit down. <laughs> Mr. Sala, you worked as uh, you worked in the office of the president um, in, during the period when ex-president Jame was in office. I've told I have, I have hearing difficulties. I don't have, I'm not hearing clearly. Uh, no. I think if you can change this one, uh, maybe. Did you, you, you worked at the office of the president under Yaya Jame, ex president Yaya Jame. Okay. Did you work in the office of the president? On Ex-President Yaya Jame. Maybe you can help him, please. Can I come, can I come closer for you so that I can, we can make progress? Did you work in the office of the President? Did you during... work? Yes, I work under, 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 office, under the government of the President Yaya Jame. Uh, at, uh, during what period did you work in the office of the President? During what period did you work in the office of the President? Uh, 1994 up to 2014, but not continuously, because I had a break. I served some other place outside the Gambia. Okay, Yuri, can you tell us the periods when you worked there? Can you tell us the periods that you were there? Uh, well, I have my CV here. I don't know whether it will help you to save time. Okay, I first served as Secretary of the Cabinet during the uh, transition of the Second Republic. Nineteen ninety four. In nineteen ninety five. Yes. I was appointed as High Commissioner to the Republic of Sierra Leone. 95 to 97. Okay. And then, did you come back to the office of the president? And when did you come back? When did you come back to the office of the president? When I came back, uh, no, from there, well, from there I went to 97. From there I went to the United Nations as ambassador. Then after 1990, 1999, I was posted back to Sierra Leone. In 1999, I came back, uh, retired in August, then appointed as Minister of Health up to 2002, when I, my appointment was terminated. Then. For four years, I was not employed until 2007. Then I was appointed as Minister of Higher Education up to 2008. It was 2008 that I came back to the office of the President as Secretary of the Cabinet, 2008. Up to 2009, May, I was appointed as Secretary General and Head of the Civil Service. For how long? For how long? Uh, for nine months until 2010. Then I, I resigned. After you resigned, did you come back as cabinet secretary? 
after you resigned, did you come back? Uh, yes, I came back. Uh, when I resigned in 2010, 6th of, uh, 6th of January 2010, I remained unemployed until 2013, when I was recalled. And during the month of November, I was appointed as secretary of the cabinet until June 2014. 2014, when I was again appointed as Secretary General for one month. Then the afterwards, one month, I was reassigned again to Secretary of the Cabinet for another one month then, by 18th of August 2014, my services were terminated. Okay, thank, thank you very much, Mr. Sala. Whilst you were Secretary to Cabinet um, during the period 2013, uh, Why, whilst you were Secretary of Cabinet, so cabinet during, during the period, the period 2012, yes. 20, 2012 to 2014, 20, 12 to 2014. Yes. you were also signatories to some accounts at the office of the President. You were also signatory to some accounts. Yes, yes, I was signatory to some accounts. Now, as sec Secretary to Cabinet, Mr. Sala, why were you signatory to, the, to accounts? Why were you signatory to the accounts as Secretary to Cabinet? Uh, it was a requirement, I mean, it was an instruction given by the former President that uh, the main first signatory would be the Secretary General and the second signatory would be the Secretary to Cabinet. I see. What is the basis of this instruction? What is it is based on any law, any rule, any rule of procedure? What is the basis of these instructions? Is it based on some law? Well, there were instructions given, verbal instructions given by, by, by the President. He gave those directives. There are certain accounts, there are to be uh, certain checks and accounts to be signed by the Secretary General. Then the second signatory should be the Secretary of the Cabinet. I see. Did you object to this, being a, really a, a, a veteran civil servant? Did you object to being made uh, a signatory to an account as secretary to cabinet? As an experienced civil servant, did you object to being made a signatory to the accounts? As never, secretary? never, never. It was not easy to object to the instructions. Sorry, I didn't hear that. I didn't hear you, sorry. I say ne I never objected. It was a directive which I had to follow. I see. Okay. From the president. Uh, uh, very well, Mr. Sala. You, you did um, sign various checks and authorized some transactions as well, um, which we would like to go through with you, but uh, we are out of time for today, so we'll give you another date to come back. You did right. sign. We, um, we would like you to go through some checks that you have signed. Now time today, but mm. we would like you to come another day <laughs> to testify. Okay, okay. I'm available. Sorry, what did you say? Sorry, mm -hmm. what did you say? I said I, 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 I'll comply. All right, thank you. Okay, we'll, we'll come back on Monday then, Mrs. Sala. The 29th, oh, Tuesday the 29th at um, 12. Yes. You come back on Tuesday, 29. At 12 noon. At 12 noon. At midday. Midday. Okay. Thank yeah, you. But meanwhile, if he would come to your office on Friday, he okay. would, you know, um, if you have anything to say about those transactions in, with regard to supporting documents that you have not seen, instructions or directives, we would like to hear about them. On Friday, if you have any information with regard to these transactions, we would like you to bring it to the office of the Secretary. I have known, I have known nothing about those transactions. Okay, on what basis did you make these transactions? How do you make these transactions? Did you decide or did the Secretary General give you instructions to sign? On what basis did you make these transactions? On what basis did you make these transactions? How did you get the instructions to make these transactions? They were submitted to me. There were they are, they are, they are letters, instructions, and, and checks being submitted to me for country signature when it involved travel, traveling of the, the president and his delegations. 
and to make certain payments, the checks will be submitted to me for county signature. Okay. And I've already been shown some checks, which I confirm and saying that they were my, 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 my signatures. And I countersign them. All right, thank but you. I've never, I've never kept any documents for, 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 for under, for, under my custody. Great, thank you. Thank we'll you. See you then You're on welcome. the 29th. On the 29th. Okay, 29th. At 12 noon. What will it? 9:30. Okay, thank you. 9:30. I, I recall the Accountant General. I have had to transfer Mr. Tony Gattas to tomorrow morning and Mr. Ansumana German. Yeah, the. Can you call the Accountant General, please? Is Mr. Answana Tamba here? If you, if you inform him to come to me. Well, you are still under oath. Would you like to... You are reminded that you are still under oath. Okay. Could you please sit down? You are subpoenaed with regard to certain mining accounts that were open. You were here before with regard to the tax recovery accounts. Yes. Um, um, just give us a minute. The exhibits are being collected. Yes. And, um, how, when you were here the last time, you said you were looking into the guarantee trust bank recovery account. Yes. Okay. Um, could you tell us what, anything you want to tell us about that account? Since you are accountant general, and you are also the paymaster general, you said, right? Yes. Okay. We have received some information from Guarantee Trust Bank, and uh, uh, the, we've got the instruction for the opening of the account. They call it Gambia Revenue Recovery Account instruction that they receive from the office of the president. Okay, you did not have anything in your own file? No, we because did not. Because we have already received what the um, uh, Guarantee Trust Bank had. We were hoping that you would find something in your own file for that, on that account. You did not find anything? No, nothing, because this was not handled through our office, and we are, we, we are not in copy of the correspondence. Okay. As Accountant General, do you have anything to say about the manner in which that account was opened? Yes, the, this were tax recovery account. If they were um, recommended or ordered to be opened by a commission, you know, then it, that is in order. But of course, it has to be executed through the appropriate institution which is the Ministry of Finance and Economic Affairs. Then the Ministry of Finance and Economic Affairs should have opened the accounts and uh, uh, get, get, the, get, them, uh, get, get the accounts administered. 
if they were from uh, a commission and uh, the purpose was to recover tax areas, I think it was in order to open the accounts, but my expectation would have been that they should have been deposit only accounts. They should have been? Deposit only accounts. Accounts. Okay. Like all the recoveries that come from defaulting taxpayers uh, paid into those accounts. Because the Commission would have perhaps identified an amount of outstanding tax that needed to be recovered. And then the, the taxpayers could deposit their areas into the accounts yes. and then during a given period of time and after the end of that period of time there would be a reconciliation okay. of what has been paid into the accounts vis-a-vis -vis what was outstanding what was in owing as far as uh, tax default is concerned now we know that that didn't happen this account was open from the office of the president and monies in it were also spent as instructed by the office of the president yes now how as accountant general if such a thing were to happen how would how would you describe such an account if any department of state were to open an account and start paying money into it, what would happen? Well, in the first place, uh, the, the ministries do not have the mandate to open an account independently on their own without approval. I know that. From the Minister of Finance. But this is what happened, right? Yes. Now, so what would be the consequence? What should be the consequence? Well, I, I think the consequences immediately, once it is discovered or once it is realized that these accounts exist and so on, they need to be investigated, reconciled, and then necessary action taken for the funds to be transferred to government accounts held at the central bank. And if the funds have been spent? If the funds have been spent, um, <clears throat> maybe in a way that was not meant to be spent, then the, the funds would need, would need to be recovered. Okay, thank you. Now, um, we also, at, at least from the evidence that has been led before this commission, we have been told that um, by the Secretary General, who was in office, that the funds were not spent in accordance with any budget. They were spent outside the budget. Now, what do you have to say as Accountant General to this Commission about the spending of funds outside the budget? I think any funds that belong to the government must be included in the government budget in the first place because there is a budget of revenue and expenditure for each financial year. So if these were tax areas, then they must have been budgeted for as the revenue that is due to government. But maybe that was not collected because taxpayers defaulted in paying those taxes. But they would have been factored in the national budget in the first place. And uh, as a result, they form part of the budget. So what so, happens where a uh, government department spends money outside of the budget, which is not appropriated you know, by an appropriation act, whether supplementary or otherwise? What are the consequences? Well, then the, it becomes an illegal expenditure as far as the law is concerned. All right. thank, thank you very much. I'd just like you to confirm, look at these um, exhibits, MS, MS1, MS2,
Let's start with MS1. <coughs> MS1. MS1 one is about the Kanaji mineral, Kanaji mining account. Do you know about the Kanaji mining account? Do you know about the Kanaji mining account? Yes. Okay. I, I, I know about the Kanaji mining account. Was that, a, was that account under your jurisdiction? No, it was under the jurisdiction of the Office of the President. Okay. Now, when you were here the last time, I, I believe you did say that royalties were public, was public funds. Yes. And um, it should have gone into the Consolidated Revenue Fund. Yes. Now, I just want to confirm whether your department was at any time consulted by the Office of the President on the spending of the monies in the Kanaji mineral account? No, I have not seen any uh, evidence of consultation with, with my department. The only time the department may have been involved is, is in the opening of some of these accounts and also forwarding the list of signatories to the accounts. But apart from that, the department was not involved in any other way. Can you just confirm the heavy mineral deposit account also, MS2, and the sand mining account, Gamico training account, all these accounts. Just look at them together and tell us what you know about them. Do your answers to the Kanaji mining apply to those accounts as well? Yes. That they were operated outside your jurisdiction as accountant general? Yes. Did they, your office... So some of them were opened through the office of the accountant general, but uh, one of them actually was, was not. Uh, I've seen one that was the, the directive or the instruction came. Um, directly from the office of the president to the governor, central bank. Which one? It, it did not even go through the Ministry of Finance or the Accountant General's office. Which one are you referring to? Um, We also have pink files, please. Mm, yes. <laughs> Don't lose our pink files among you. This is the sand mining, sand mining royalties. Yes. The request came directly from the office of the president uh, to the governor central bank for the bank to open the account, special account, and also the same request provided the list of signatories to that account.
directly from the office of the president to the governor, Central Bank. You did not, it, um, okay, sand mining we understand. For heavy minerals, Kanaji minerals, and um, Gamiko training accounts, you did not decide who the signatories were to be, did you? No. They were all all the signatories were decided by the office of the president, and they were the signatories to those accounts. To those accounts. Yes, okay. and, and they are the ones that administered those accounts independently. All right. Thank you. That's all I have. Do you have any questions? Uh, Mr. Ba, Accountant General, a quick question on the decision to appoint signatories. From the Office of the President, do we have any records indicating that the President in his capacity as head of state, is supposed to designate signatories to bank accounts. I, I have not seen any record of that. Okay. Uh, where where the president? Uh, so, are we sure he did it? How do we know he was the one who designated the signatories? I I wouldn't have I don't have any record of that. I don't have any. Uh, uh, record of that actually the, uh, the only record I have would be the, the correspondence from the office of the president and mm -hmm. these correspondence are sometimes signed by different people, different officials within that office conveying approval or conveying the instruction okay. They were written by the Secretary General and signed by the Secretary to Cabinet most of those instructions. Do we assume their instructions were verbal, or you wouldn't know? The, the instructions to open an account cannot be verbal. It has to be a written instruction, you know, because the, I don't think the central bank would act on any verbal instruction to open an account. Because mm -hmm. at least you need to provide some, some basic information relating to the account to be opened and then subsequently provide signatories. We have, seen, we have seen the instructions to the central bank. What I'm asking for is who directed the Secretary General and the Secretary to Cabinet to write to the central bank or to the Ministry of Finance seeking permission. It has to be a memo, it has to be an email, or do we assume it was verbal? I, I, would, I wouldn't know. I wouldn't know. I think the office of the president or the person originating that correspondent, you know, would know the basis of that letter. They because testified before you that they were directed. Sorry? There were testimonies before you that they were directed. Would, you wouldn't have any records? No, and I did not get any testimony also. What, no, to what, us. What, oh, oh, okay. Okay. There is another question. And this is also a confirmation from the PS Finance, mm -hmm. who's probably your line ministry, that when they get a letter from the Secretary General, that begins, I am directed to seek permission to open an account, even though the letter or the direction went to, the directive went to the Secretary General. When they receive that letter at the Finance Ministry, they also take it as a directive. Is that a correct position? Because they are seeking permission from the Ministry of Finance. The directive went to the SG, not to the Finance Ministry. So under the context that you walked in, do you also believe that was a directive to the Finance Ministry to give permission? I, I, I think if if the letter is saying that I'm directed to seek permission, then that is seeking for permission. In other words, it is asking for approval. Correct. Uh, may, maybe some verification or confirmation whether the request is in order, you know, and then uh, maybe um, guidance on, on how to proceed with that request. 
if it is asking as a request, if it is saying request or permission, then that would require at least maybe confirming that it is in order, you know, and it is in line with the requirements of what they are, what they want to do, and then advise or provide the necessary approval. So you are saying there is or there was leeway for the finance ministry to approve or not approve? Uh, based on, on, on what you have said, I am directed to seek for approval. Or yes, seek it's for, you know, Black and white. Yes. So if it is directing to seek for approval, yes, then, then you have the option to advise. Because then, then you, you, I, I would expect um, some confirmation that it is in order for you to go ahead and do it or for you to advise for or against it. Or maybe provide some other professional guidance on the best way to go about that particular request. But that never happened during the period on the review. Not once did a letter from the Ministry of Finance advise that it wasn't right or there was no approval for any request. All the requests were approved. Is that usual? Well, where an, an opportunity is provided for you to provide professional advice or guidance or technical input, I would expect that provide professional advice or technical input to be given. You were aware that all the requests that went to the Minister of Finance were approved? Uh, I, 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 maybe I'm not in a position to confirm whether all of them were approved or not. Okay. Council, we would like the AG to help us with records showing if there was once any letter from the PS where approval was sought and they advised that it wasn't the right thing to proceed. Yes, but yes. If, if there was, based on their records, can they help us? Are you able to do that? You're, you're the accountant general. We, we may not have that because, for example, when an advice is sought and it is turned down, maybe then it, it, it wouldn't go to the next stage. Hmm. For example, if the request is made, uh, for example, for the opening of an account uh, from a ministry to the Ministry of Finance, and the Ministry of Finance does not issue the, the approval, it may end at that level. We may not have the record of that. But if the Ministry of Finance approves, then it goes to the next stage. Then it will it will proceed and come to the Accountant General's department for necessary action. Okay. Maybe I need to be clearer. The point I'm trying to make, mm -hmm. when approval is being sought, yes. if the request goes to the minister, yes. the minister, that's a political appointment. Mm -hmm. In most of the letters we've seen, it went to the PAMSEC, mm -hmm. who's a technocrat, mm -hmm. who's supposed to give approval based on laws and his knowledge. Mm -hmm. From what we have seen, all the requests were approved. Okay. And I'm asking, is there any instance where they took the letter, read it, and said, this time we are advising no approval or don't open? I, I wouldn't know. You wouldn't have that? No. The PS Finance may have that? Yes. Who's your line minister? Yes. Can you help this commission get an opportunity to look at one, if it exists? We are assuming it didn't exist, that all of them were approved. I, I, I think the best person to be directed in that regard would be the PS Finance. Who you work be, with? Because, in a, in a yes, we work with, but he's responsible for, for his records, okay. for the ministry's records, you know. So I may not have access to anything or any correspondence that is not copied to the Accountant General. So That's if, fair if enough. anything originates from a ministry, to the Ministry of Finance without 
the Accountant General being copied, and the Ministry of Finance responds, and then it ends there, then I would not have any access to, to those records. She'll, she'll help us get that. That's fine. Okay, um, Mr. Ba, please. Um, one of the witnesses mentioned that um, yesterday, actually, finance, that the Treasury Department, there was correspondence showing that the Treasury Department wrote to Central Bank requesting them to open the Gamico account. And then um, signatories to this account will be provided at a later date by the Office of the President. We have um, that in evidence. Mm -hmm. um, I remember when you the first time you came here for witness, you also mentioned that um, the Accountant General's office, which is your office, mm -hmm. Treasury, that you're signatories to all government accounts. The question I'm asking is, if Treasury, which is your department, wrote to CBG, mm -hmm. stating that the Gamico account should be opened, mm -hmm. ordinarily, would, shouldn't you, when I mean you, Treasury Department be the signatory to this account as well? considering that they, it should form part of the Consolidated Revenue Fund? No, not necessarily. Uh, maybe um, a ministry can request for a special account to be opened at the central bank, uh, but they are administering that account. I'll give an example, the projects, self-accounting projects, the donor-funded projects, mm -hmm. you know, they have their own they have what we call self-accounting status, whereby they have their own accountants, they have their own financial management experts, and so on, procurement, etc., mm -hmm. etc. Et so, because they, they have the capacity in terms of finance, financial management accounting expertise, they, they are granted self-accounting status. And uh, normally this is also factored in the negotiations for those funds, we did donors. So it forms part of the condition that the project would have a self-accounting status and they will have their own financial management experts, accountants, and so on. And they will be the signatories to the bank account. So what we do in that case, they will write and request for the opening of the bank account at the central bank. Then we will facilitate the opening of the account and then they will identify signatories that they will forward to our office. Then we onwardly submit that to the central bank. It is like the accountant general's department is the interface between central bank and the rest of the ministries and the department, including the projects, the donor funded projects. So if a ministry writes, or if office of the president writes, and request for the opening of a special bank account and that they are the ones that would administer that bank account, then we may facilitate the opening of the bank account, but we are not signatory, then they provide the signatories to the, to the bank account, which we onwardly uh, submit to the central bank. That, that is how it works. So in this case, you're saying the Gamico account, the Treasury Department only acted as a facilitator? Yes. So is it accurate to also say that this account did not form part of the Consolidated Revenue Fund? Well, any funds that belong to government technically form part of the Consolidated yeah, but, but, but my question is, I, I think I'm just being specific here, but do you know whether it did or it did not? If you're not sure, probably you can revert back to us. Yes, maybe I can refer back to you, but some of, some of the accounts, mm -hmm. uh, for example, I'll give the tax recovery accounts, uh, they do not form part of the consolidated government accounts, like the financial statements, because they were sitting somewhere outside the central bank and maybe that awareness of those accounts was not really there so maybe they did not form a part of the balance sheet government government cash position at the end of the financial year so they were, that is consolidation at the consolidation level they did not form part of that okay so you will get back to us on this account if it does or it does not 
for uh, if it did or it did not rather for for the uh, future in the government financial yes. statements yes. financial statements yes okay we would like to know please okay i i, I will get back to you thank that, you that that is the gamico or all gamico of them? Huh? gamico gamico and all the others the reason being we have had different responses okay so I feel you should be in a position to tell us. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Perfect. Welcome. Could you could you also um, provide to us all the estimates um, as far as, as uh, between 1994 to 2017? Could you can we set you that task? Budget estimates. Budget estimates and supplementary budget estimates. Let's uh, start with the period for, during which these accounts were operated as well. Mm -hmm. okay, okay, the 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 budget directorate is the custodian of the government budget. So you don't have so accountant general doesn't keep. We would estimates. have copies of them, but they are responsible for preparing the budget and then making I sure understand, that. But I should think that the accountant general will have all the budgets because you are the. Um, that's the treasury, that's the main treasury, and you have to check every expenditure against budget. Yes. Yes. If it's something you can help with, we'll appreciate that. Okay. If not, the so, so of the budget, finance. copies not, of. You, I'm sure you can. Copies of minutes. all the budget estimates. Well, office of, well, office of the president to start with would be fine, but I assume that would be part of the same estimate. Yes, because it is, okay. they are consolidated in one document. Right. All right. You, for what period? Well, let's let's start from 2010 to date, and then okay. move from move backwards. Okay. All right. Thank you. That's fine. Thank you. When when do you want to come back to answer those questions that uh, the honourable commissioner has asked? Do you want him to? When do you want him to come back? What about next week? When when is it convenient? for him to come back. Tuesday, next week Tuesday is convenient for us for him to come back. All right. Okay. It's Tuesday, convenient. Tuesday next week. Yeah. Yes, we okay. want all the answers that you can find. Um, At what time? 12 noon would be 10 o'clock. Oh, 10 o'clock in the morning. 10 o'clock. In the morning, yes. Okay. And we'll try not to keep you. Okay. Thank you. Are you thank finished you with this much. witness? Yes. Yes. Uh, yes, sir. Thank you. You are released for the time being. Thank you. And uh, this is a uh, convenient time for us to rise. Until tomorrow. Okay, past trading may have been called. Uh, Wednesday. Here. Wednesday. At 10 o'clock. Very well.